I cannot without touching my wiener. Oh, don't do it. Sneeko. I... <laughs> that's that's nasty, bro. That's nasty. Sneeko, I cannot without touching my wiener. Oh, don't do it, Sneeko. No! Sneeko. I cannot without touching my wiener. Oh, don't do it. Sneeko. <laughs> no! Right, he got it in his mouth. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's that's wild, bro. Sneeko, you got some weird <laughs> you got some weird fans, my guy. Ecuador. How on the bus? Uh, no, I yet. Where are you from? Uh, Senegal. Where are you going? Washington. Where are you from? Guinea. Where are you going? Uh, uh, Atlanta. Where are you from? Senegal. Where are you going? New York. Where are you from? Senegal. Where are you going? New York. Where are you from? Guinea. Where are you going? New York. Where are you from? Guinea. Where are you going? New York. Uh, New Jersey. Guinea. From New York. Where? 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 Go to America. I want to go to New York. It's not about what you think. It's your ancestors. It's still regular to you. The reason why you're part of today is because of what my people did. The reason why you're Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Calm down, guy. Today is because of what your people did to my people. You do to the people in this country. You're a Listen. Protesting is not going to help anybody. You have to acquire power. Going out on the streets, doing all of that, it, it sounds good, it looks good, but nothing's going to happen unless you're in the room making those decisions. It's just worthless. I don't, I don't get people like this, bro. Honestly, black lives matter. Yes, black lives do matter. But what are we going to do about it if we're not in the boardrooms? Acquire as much power as you can. Then you can, then you can say all of this. Let's see here. Guess which state. If I were to guess, I'll probably have to say San Francisco. Just because there's a lot which is happening in San Francisco. A lot of this right now, at least. They've just given up in San Francisco, honestly. They've just given up. The people which are working is just like, I'm not even gonna, like, I'm not even gonna try to, I'm not even gonna try to stop them. I'm not even gonna try to stop. Why? Risk your life for what? Shit. You can't have shit over here. You see, this is the thing which I think is so weird, right? Then what's the point? If you can just literally go in and just grab things, why work for it? Bro, you're working that nine to five is a graveyard shift. That nine to five is a it's horrible. And you're there and you're working, you're doing it every day, and you're thinking like, okay, one day, if I work 25 years in my 50s, 60s, I have maybe enough saved up to travel a little bit. It's so I get it. People just give up and say, no, fuck it, bro. There's no point. And this is because the greediest people, the people on top are so super greedy and just give like, that's the thing. Even when I speak about Africa, I'm just like, just give a little bit, right? You don't have to have all that money. You don't have to be like super selfish. Just give a little bit. I get it. You want to have your mansion and all of that, but just give a little bit. What do you mean just stop oil? All of your stuff is made out of oil. You idiots, your clothes, these jackets, they're all made out of oil. What the hell are you doing here, making a nuisance of yourselves? It's a joke! What a joke! What are you doing here? Get out the road! You're wasting everybody's time and petrol! All these guys, their engines are running all the time, wasting more bloody oil, you nutters! Whoa. What is this made out of? What are your clothes made out of? Wow. How did your clothes get here? They got here by oil! 
Jesus. What are you doing? This makes no sense at all. Just stop oil. You haven't thought about this. If you want to stop oil, you need to stay at home and go and live in the forest. When I was younger, I used to be behind a lot of causes like this, but with time, I noticed like it's very difficult to change systems. Very, very hard. When people are accustomed to a certain way of living, it's it's almost impossible to to stop them from destroying Earth. Fossil fuels is just something which we we just have to accept. I hate it. I don't like it, but it's just the way of the world. What do we have from the fruity community? I am not, sir. Oh. Do you want to say that to the camera? Hundreds and hundreds of people watching you. Yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. You just called me a man. Don't be a coward. Why do you get so offended? Sometimes it's just, it doesn't matter. Like we've got bigger things to be thinking about than this. I don't get it. Sometimes I think they're just too sensitive. Don't be a coward. Yeah, you're a coward. Come on over. Say what you got to say to me. Oh, you don't want to call me a man in my face. Come on over. What do you what do you got to say? What do you got to say about transgender people? Oh my god. I know this is just going to start something. Guys, just leave the situation alone. Go ahead. Go ahead. I did not know this man was trans. This <laughs> It's going to get worse. I'm not, I love speech. I love everybody. Wait, what do you go by? What do you go by? Does it matter? It does, because I'm asking you. Say what you gotta say. There's no, a lot the of people watching. Is, the real question is, it doesn't matter if you're transgender or not. Are you with that? Are you with the, are you with the people that march and be like, we're coming for your kids. That's where it's bad. This is a hot topic. State your name. For the record, Hi, my name is Ida Slapter, and I do not wish to state my address due to the situation going on because I don't want to be stalked and doxxed. Um, I want to start off by saying Happy Pride Month! I hope all the homophobes are extra uncomfortable right now. And I want to say I'm a drag queen. I'm originally from San Francisco, California. And next year, I will be starting my teaching job where I will be teaching first graders. And uh, one of the things that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to have drag shows. I'm going to have drag queen story time. No, no, you should not. <sighs> that irritates me. It's, it's fine if you believe a certain thing. That's fine. But kids, they should have the option to choose. You're not supposed to. As a teacher, you're not supposed to be influencing the kids. What does being homosexual or being drag or whatever have to do with teaching kids? None of that shit should be in the classroom, honestly. That's... That they're even allowing this. I do like... Where are the parents? Are you going to kill me too? Because guess what? You're not going to be able to do anything about it, Steadfast Baptist. Because guess what? You're going to get evicted again. You're going to get it. You preach hate. Do you know what the Bible says? Love thy neighbor. It says love thy neighbor. So guess what? I can have sex with... The Listen, don't quote the Bible, my guy. Don't, don't quote the Bible. All the men I want. And I can dance in front of kids and do <laughs> drag queen story time and have all the fun I want. And you can't do anything about it. It says love thy neighbor. Where does it... Where the, you know what? It does not say anything about homosexuality being a sin in the Bible, actually. And if you believe that, you're a sinner. You're just wrong. You're just wrong. It doesn't say that. Prove it to me. You know it? Because it doesn't say that in the Bible. And you know what? <laughs> people need... People need to understand that this lifestyle needs to be introduced to children. We are not groomers. We are not groomers. You know what? I have sex with all my fans after the drag shows. And you know what? I enjoy it. Because guess what? 
I can do what I want. I can have sex with guys. And guess what? Steadfast Baptist can't do anything <laughs> about it. <laughs> lastly, well, not lastly, but I did just have the Postmates um, new bottom men, bottom friendly menu. It was amazing. And oh my gosh, we need more of that.